Hello there, this is Matthew Wright. Welcome to the tutorial service here at Bloomfield College. In the next few minutes, we will discuss the basics concerning English tutorials. Let's call it the do's and don'ts of English tutorial. As a Bloomfield College student, you should know that the Center for Academic Development offers a free tutorial services here at the Learning Resource Center. What do you need to do to benefit from this resource? You can request a tutorial appointment in three ways. You can simply walk in. You can call us during our office hours. See, can you help you? Or leave us a message anytime. You can also make an online appointment by going to www.bloomfield.edu slash tutorial and click on the make an appointment link. Before you request a tutorial appointment, make sure that you have your one current college ID 2. The name and number of the course, and 3. Contact information, a phone number, home or cell phone, and your email, preferably the one that you check most often. This helps us to notify you if there are any changes to your appointment. For example, there could be an early snow closing, or the tutor you requested might have to leave early that day. As you benefit from this free resource, we require you to sign a tutorial agreement form. This form is simply to let you know your responsibilities in keeping your appointment. If you decide to cancel your appointment, you need to let us know 24 hours prior to your appointment. This will allow us to free the tutor's calendar to help another student. Failure to do so will result in a no-show on your record. After the first no-show, you will receive a warning via email or phone call. If you have an ongoing appointment, you will also lose that privilege. Two no-shows will result in a suspension from the tutorial service for the remainder of the current semester. Of course you can let us know of your cancellation by email, phone, or walk-in as long as it is 24 hours prior to your appointment. Next, let's look at some of the things you need to do prior to meeting with your tutor. First, make sure you have your necessary materials with you. Second, make sure that you're, you're on time because you only have 15 minutes for your appointment. And thirdly, make sure that you know what you need help with so that your tutor can get straight to it. Since we are trying to cover the do's and don'ts during an English tutorial, we pose these questions to some of our professional tutors. What do you do if a student arrives with an assignment but has not attempted to begin writing it. The first thing I would do in this situation is find out why they have not attempted the assignment. If they have a problem in general with starting an essay, I would try to go over basic essay strategies, brainstorming, um, creating outlines, writing thesis statements. If they had a problem with the actual topic of the essay, I would try to help them with that. But if they came and they had just been procrastinating, I would also try to find find that out and I would let them know that I will try to help them the best way that I can for this session but that I am going to document it so that you know next time they have to come prepared. What do you do if a student comes to a tutorial session without anything to work on and says he or she is there for credit for a course? First I would have a student write a paragraph on any topic and then provide them with feedback. Then I would discuss the writing strategies with that student what they do before they write, what they do during the writing process, and then what do they do after they write their paper. Finally, I would tell my student to bring a portfolio for next time of any work they have done because even the best writers need help. What do you do if a student complains about a grade he or she received on a paper you helped the student with during an earlier session? 
The first thing I would let them know in that situation right off the bat is it's against CAD policy to discuss grades in the tutorial session. But I would also let the student know that if they really felt their grade was unfair, that they should discuss it with their instructor or make an appointment. And finally, if they really felt like they were not getting the best help they could possibly be getting in the tutorial services, I would tell them that there are plenty of English tutors and they might benefit from a different approach from another tutor. What do you do if a student comes to a tutorial session with a rough draft marked with a professor's comments and without a clean corrected copy? Well, the first thing I would do is find out why the student didn't begin revising before the session. Then I would go on to explain that each tutor expects the students to begin the work before the tutorial. Again, this is Matthew Wright. We hope the information provided was useful. Remember, if you are needing tutorial services, stop by CAD here at 30 Resource Center. Thanks for watching.